Détective Hercule Poirot Ah, Chief Commissioner. On the contrary, it is a most convenient time. The safe passage of a painting. Tell me everything. If man was meant to travel the oceans in such conditions, he would surely have been given his own fins. A distraction is what one needs. Where is that blasted contact? How is one to prepare for an assignment if one does not have all of the required information? Very well. I shall wait no longer. Beautiful, isn't she? Pardon, monsieur. The open water. There really is nothing quite like her. When one suffers from the mal de mer, the beauty, as you say, is rather more a burden. Forgive me, I just can't imagine being scared of the ocean in this day and age. The potential to see the world is open to even the ordinary man like us. I can assure you, monsieur, it is not a matter of being scared. And as for ordinary... I didn't mean to offend, mister. I am... Forgive me, madame. No harm done. Accidents happen. I... My cigarette case. Where is it? I didn't see. You thought I wouldn't notice? A young lady traveling alone. An easy target for you, I bet. I'm sure the young lady would appreciate the help of two handsome strangers. Hi, Lark. Hi, Lark. The ship. Okay, well, look around. One here. Better. Oh. Hmm. Day. 1835 years old. Look, is in the perfect condition. Okay. Ah. The mud. Yeah. Used to be. Used to open the case. Lion, naval and British.
Radiant and if huh. one way to just ask oneself from the ocean. Company with tea, however, I couldn't agree with their choice. Okay. How could a porter be so clumsy? Let's give her a hand. I didn't drop it on purpose. Okay, oh dear, what a mess. A young lady should not be left to gather her own things. You are returning home? I am. But how did you know that? Besides your educated accent, the crest that adorns your cigarette case, it is of British origin. Very observant. It's the crest of my family, and the case belonged to my mother. I take it everywhere with me. Miss Florence Farquhar, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is ours. That looks like everything, except for my powder case. Is this what you're looking for? It is. Thank you, Miss. Miss Babanin. Anastasia Babanin. Anastasia? What a beautiful name. It was my grandmother's. Well, that's everything now. I can't thank you all enough for your help. I'd be happy to escort you. Here, I'll take your back. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you. Cabin four. I'll be right behind you. Anastasia, perhaps I can offer you a token of my gratitude in the bar later? That would be lovely. And you, Mr... Detective Hercule Poirot, at your service. A detective? I was not expecting to meet such a distinguished gentleman on board. I did not expect to meet someone of Russian descent on a ship between the great city of Antwerp and Dover. I never mentioned where I was from either. did not have to. Anastasia, of Russian origin meaning resurrection. And here was me thinking I was special. Your knowledge of my heritage is most impressive. And I'll take that as my cue to leave. Good evening. It seems it's just us remaining. I would very much like to hear stories from your homeland. Perhaps you would join me in the restaurant. As charming as that would be, I'm feeling rather tired. It must be all the sea air. Then I shall leave you to your slumber. Adieu. As much as I enjoyed the delights of the restaurant, I still found my mind drifting back to Mademoiselle Babania. She really was quite charming. 
I have spent the first part of this excursion neglecting my duties. It's time to retrieve my notebook from this safe and begin. The combination was not a difficult one to remember. 1815, the Battle of Waterloo. 1815, okay. Uh, Aha. 18... 15. Et voila. Time to... One cannot ignore such a blood-curdling scream. My mother's cigarette case! It's gone! How could somebody do this? Mademoiselle, I ask that you take a moment to calm. You're a detective, of course. What luck. As luck would have it, one of Belgium's finest. Now, I require as many details of the crime as you can offer. I came to my cabin and began unpacking. I couldn't get the safe working, but the gentleman that helped me with my luggage showed me how it works. Afterwards, I went for a brief walk, and when I returned, the safe was open, and my cigarette case was gone. We must consider the suspect list. Those who were aware of the cigarette case's existence. That can only be those who were up on the deck when my luggage spilled. Miss Babanyan, the porter, yourself. And your helpful stranger. Yes, of course. I ask that you gather them for me. And while you are absent, I shall begin my investigation in here. If mademoiselle permits. Whatever you need to do to find it. The thief of that woman, I can't even say her name. Cigarette case has for me for long enough. I must continue decide. So, the, everything I know and the, the two, three. Yeah, I'm really not very good. Uh, no, no one? Must I be aware of the safe of no code open? I've not had any visitors. Set of keys to a cabinet. Image to a fancy board to sit. Okay. And I look. Oh. And look at this. Mm -hmm. The door remains open, and the content, cut, cut pants is uh, missing. Huh. If the thief left. Any sign of assisting the save, perhaps a fingerprint on the dial will be it. Huh. This must be it. Must have only become. Obvious once the safe is was moved, they have to clean so says the standards. I think I said that right. Oh, it's all right. Uh -huh. Oh. There's no there are no Clear or of the sign that the thief had been tempted, tempted with the thief must have found a way in. Hmm. Mademoiselle, 
I thought you would be returning with the gentleman also. The gentleman wanted to speak to the porter alone first. I was unaware he is also a detective. He's not a policeman. He works in insurance, I believe. It appears I shall be spending my time chasing amateur detectives around the ship. Yeah. Mademoiselle, I would like to start with who had access to the safe combination. No one. It was in a sealed envelope that was waiting for me when I arrived. I memorized it and threw the paper overboard. Four, three, eight, five. It's really not that difficult to remember. A similar envelope was waiting for me upon my arrival. The date of the Battle of Waterloo, as I recall. Every safe, although identical, must have a different combination. After the gentleman helped me with the safe, he left. If the mysterious gentleman is behind the theft, he went to great lengths to hide his fingerprints, but did little to hide his movements in Mademoiselle Farquhar's cabin. There are many questions that require answers. Answers I believe he may hold. Where do you look around first? If it taken if he was one of the last things I expected to imagine turning to London. But as a officer of law it's my duty to find who could be could have stolen cigarette case and why. Okay, uh, look at this one. No sign of tampering. What a revelation! Oh. Okay. Give a state of of the safe and seize the sim uh, the thief simply into the cage and took the door. There's no one here. Um, okay, I'll go back. Can I go to bed? No? Checking now. Hmm. I will be heading to in a professional camp, but I have very much like a invite. Of our own, okay. Yeah, I'm not reading now. A foreman in front on one side, blank on the other. Okay. Um, look at that. Maybe it's a bit high. Hmm. Once man prepared the cell with a better all time. The memory is leg high for months and it's over. Yeah. Um I talk to her. Mademoiselle Babanya. I'm sorry we must continue our conversation under these circumstances. On the contrary, what fantastic luck that you are here. Now I get to see you at work. Okay. I'm afraid I've done very little actually. After we parted ways, I went to my cabin. I had barely unpacked and I was fast asleep on the bed. Alone? That is a rather personal question, don't you think, detective? Hmm. I'm sorry. 
I'm a little nervous. A poor attempt at a joke. Yes, I was alone. There is no need to be nervous. And then? And then I was woken up by Florence's scream. I have never heard something so terrifying. Mm, that's it. You have been Bye -bye. most helpful, mademoiselle. I shall not take up any more of your time. Okay, now. Hmm. I'll to go up on the London now. Yeah, now we do that. Oh. It seems that they choose not to die in the west one. Make a remain a message to me, but by judging of a fashion scent, it must be popular safe side. One must be careful with such decorate powder. A helpful mess would be good cause. But I could be in useful. Hmm? I'll look at them too in a minute. Uh -huh. I am a spice, a luggage made it this far without spinning with the mount she packed. That is it. See, says the rose. To lay a head on to us. Okay. Aha. Oh. This glasses must be. Must have been made by something sharp. A bla blade, perhaps? Mm. Ah. The light is catching part of the bigger fence. I do, have, do not have the tools with me. But I'm sure I can find a way to reveal the, the full print. Uh, this one. Perhaps the powder case I found must be of use, from use. Some would say, yeah. yeah. Magnifique! A fingerprint. Now to determine who it belongs to. You found one, detective? Oh, how exciting! I suppose you'll want to take mine. To rule me out, I mean. Okay. You could ask me anything. Am I to be used as your guinea pig? Yeah. I would not dare compare you to a guinea pig. Would you be so kind? The answer is yes, of course. I have nothing to hide. Um... That one? Um... Yes? 
None. Paper. This one. The fee knows exactly how to keep the identity hidden. I must now take Philippine's sample from others. Thinking hers will allow me to pair the what prints are hers. We do those that might belong to our feet. Fine by from them too. Yeah. The only thing that remains on the door is the one that left by hers up a, upon returning to her cabin. Copper kitchen is the same me. It must there must be something I have not Yeah. I talked to her again. Mademoiselle Farqua, I shall have your cigarette case returned to you before we reach the English coast. I hope so, Detective. You caught me, reading my own article. I must say you raise a very interesting point. Art should have no social boundaries. Creativity is for all to enjoy. Thank you for saying that. I wish everyone was as open-minded. Yes, I'm really quite excited about it. You have been invited to a preview at the Royal Edward Gallery. A small world indeed. Will you be in attendance? It's actually one of the reasons that I have been in Belgium. I was lucky enough to have a sneak peek at some of the pieces on show. I'll also be writing a follow-up article on the success of it. Fingers crossed! Lucky indeed. I am sure it will be a great success. Who could have caused this gratis? Can't be dent. Really? No. Perhaps there are more clues to, to be found. Yes. Okay, we'll go to the deck. I should consider this further. Yeah. This in there. Bento? The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. No useful fish bin remains. The fear has been careful to cover their tracks. Okay. Oh, I turn around. Have I talked to him first? I'm sorry, but it's just not acceptable, Mark. I've apologized to the lady. And that makes everything all right? Sorry. It was an accident. An accident that could have been avoided if you hadn't spent your morning drinking. Gentlemen, you are behaving like two young boys in the schoolyard. It ends now. May I talk to him? Is Mademoiselle Farqua aware you are acting as her knight in shining armor? I wouldn't go as far as that. I think perhaps we have got off on the wrong foot. I'm Arthur Hastings. Would... She requested you to follow her to her cabin, no? Oh, yes, she did, but I wanted to... 
speak with the porter privately? This was part of your investigation? Well, I'm not a detective. I was just, uh... Then perhaps you will answer some questions that are vital to my investigation as a detective. What can I do for you? It is. Is my employment relevant to Miss Farquhar's missing cigarette case? I hope you will entertain me for a moment. What would you say the chances of proving a theft in a case such as this one are? Well, a report from a detective like yourself will certainly help expedite her insurance claim. As I thought. It had perhaps not crossed her mind before. But being amongst an officer of the law and an insurance man, the idea of insurance fraud may have appeared appealing. Hmm. When Florence, Miss Farquhar, told me that something had gone missing from her safe, I thought it must have been the porter. How so? I'd rather not say with him standing just there. It is not I that controls the volume of your voice. You must have noticed the smell of beer on his breath. I wouldn't put it past a man that drinks on the job to steal. That is quite the accusation. And if you were correct, you wish to settle the matter with him privately? I wanted to give him what for, but uh, I suppose I lost my nerve. I'm what some would call a middleman. I oversee the handling of recently sold items and put the buyer in contact with an appropriate insurer. The mention of insurance initially sparked my attention. But the more he talks of his work, I believe he may be my mysterious contact from Lloyd's of London. It was your work that took you to Belgium? I can't go into too many details, but I'm actually delivering a rather special piece of art to London. I'm meant to be meeting an official of some sorts that's supposed to be helping me, but no sign of them yet. And it is confirmed. It concerns me that my supposed trusted colleague has found himself involved in the middle of my investigation. I will continue to withhold my true identity and see how Monsieur Hastings' involvement concludes. Yeah, that's it. Merci, Monsieur. This really is an exciting case. Anything I can do to help Miss Farquhar, please don't hesitate to ask. Your enthusiasm has been noted. Working alone in a cabin since open that woman with her luggage. Okay. Now I can go over there. And what's up for him now? Perhaps you and I can have a more civilized discussion. I'll tell you the same as I told your friend. I will not be bullied. Intimidation is not my forte. What is, is uncovering the identity of criminals and making sure they are punished to the fullest extent of the law. And that's me? That is what I am yet to conclude. Who said anything about drinking alcohol? It does not take a detective to identify the distinct odor on one's breath. Maybe one to calm my nerves. My sea legs aren't here yet, that's all. I was in the cargo hold, cutting something with my knife, and it slipped. No harm done. I'm not quite sure you understand what that means. So now I am a stupid and a drunk? Do you have the knife in question on your person now? I don't. He stole it and won't return it. Okay, back back to the... Um... Oh, no, I'm gonna do this first. Where is he? There he is. In... Into... Okay. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. 
Huh. Mounds of blood. This must be what. Cut it yourself on. Tip has been dealt and appears to be dark, glitzy, like metallic flakes. Still, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What can I do for you? Hmm. Ah. A standard angle with just a knife. A knife. A sailor. Yeah. With a bulbo blade. Okay, um, can I go back to it? Oui, oui, monsieur. No. I shall let you return to your duties. Let's speak to her again. Of course, whatever you need. Insured? Oh no, why would I have it insured? Anything of substantial monetary value. I'll stop you there, detective. The cigarette case itself is hardly worth two pennies, but to me, it's priceless. Not for a second, at least not with my permission. You probably think this silly, naive woman has left her valuables out, or I've just misplaced them. But I assure you, that is not me. It had not crossed my mind for even a moment. Him. Only one super diet have for the Scottish years mark. Um, he's a knife. Michael? Looking at him. Um, Consistent <coughs> of the door it is locked. I couldn't roll, couldn't roll out a drinking attempt to open it. Hmm. Hold on. Let me look at this one. No. This one? Um. Knife. No, no to go. A oh, beef. No knife. Um. I want. I must take a different approach if I am to. Yes. This will not get me any. I will. Things are beginning to become clearer. So, I do not have the code. There's still the chance that it would crack open. Hmm. Logical thinking shall always prevail. If 
they've attempted to fool me and cover their tracks and be so they know exactly what what they're doing. I confirmed that the pilot was nothing more than a for a thief and to scratch the door lock when made to believe. Yeah. Hot on the culprit's heels. That fire must have must be the thief is okay. No, no, no. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I must consider the suspects I have in front of me. Monsieur Hastings. He is keen to impress Mademoiselle Farquhar and claims that he was alone in his cabin working since. Mark Allard, the porter. Evidence suggests a rather amateur attempt to break into the safe, which in his intoxicated state, but it was just a ruse. The safe was opened quite masterfully, leaving only signs of a poorly attempted break-in. Mademoiselle Babagna, a new friend to Mademoiselle Farquhar, who appeared at a most convenient time. I cannot see a motive besides the obvious value of the cigarette case, but Mademoiselle Farquhar has made it quite clear the value is of a sentimental nature. Perhaps the best thing for me would be to return to my cabin to think. I fear my legs and perhaps even my evening meal will not last much longer amidst these waves. Perhaps Ah, detective. How goes the investigation? A good detective, better yet, a great detective, will find motive, means, and opportunity. She found it! Miss Babanyan found it! Oh, I was on my way to speak with the captain when I saw something shining underneath one of those pipes. Strange that it was not spotted earlier by any one of us while on the ship's deck. Maybe the thief was scared and dumped it for fear of being caught red-handed. Oh, no, why you took it? Miss Babanyan, Anastasia, you saved the day. I can't thank you enough. And you, of course, detective. Mm. I find Mademoiselle Babanyan's explanation of finding the cigarette case rather coincidental. But without any definitive proof, I cannot suggest anything otherwise. The cigarette case has been returned and the coast is in sight, which is what is important. Although, there still remains a part of me that craves the truth. I suppose you can chalk that up as a victory. A victory for Mademoiselle Farquhar, but not in the eyes of the law. Well, if anyone asks, I'll confirm what a splendid job you did. Very kind, monsieur. While we are on the matter of truth, Monsieur Arthur Hastings, you are here to oversee the transportation of the penitent Magdalene painting, are you not? How on earth? You are aware of my employment, but not of my true identity. Detective Hercule Poirot. Wait, are you the official that I was supposed to have met on board? Oui, monsieur. Please, accept my apologies for keeping my true identity hidden. But I had to be sure your involvement with the theft was purely coincidental. When it comes to the nature of our work, trust must be earned. A little unorthodox, but I suppose I understand. So you can trust me now? It continues to grow. Well, we have a couple of weeks before the gala, so hopefully by then you'll trust me with your life. One can hope. Hey, that's the end of part. I guess it is. 
Now I will continue with chapter one next time.